Hello everybody, my name is John Snedeker here at Lasara Medical Group. And in this video, I'm going to explain what's going to come in your package if you're receiving testosterone or peptides from us. And second, I'm going to teach you how to do an intramuscular injection. When you receive your package, you're going to receive syringes, needles, alcohol prep pads, and your medication. Depending upon what your dosage is, you're going to receive one of these types of syringes. We have a three milliliter syringe for a larger volume and we have a one milliliter syringe for a lesser volume. So depending upon your unique dose for your treatment, one of these types of syringes will come in the mail to you. Next, we have two types of needles. The first is going to be a one inch long needle, typically a larger gauge between 18 up to 23 gauge. This needle is used for drawing up the medication. A lot of these medications live inside of an oil, so it requires a wider needle to draw them into the syringe. Next needle is going to be a 5 8 inch 25 gauge needle. This needle is typically used for injecting. You can do intramuscularly with this needle. You can also do a subcutaneous injection with this needle. Because this needle is so much smaller, there is some pressure that is needed to get all the medication out of the syringe, but the benefit to our patients is you barely feel the needle go inside of the muscle. The next we have our prep pads. So alcohol prep pads are used for cleaning off the top of the vial as well as cleaning off the injection site. And then depending upon what it is you're coming to us for, you're going to have a vial of either testosterone or a vial of a peptide. Next, I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to prepare an intramuscular injection. First step is to sanitize the top of the vial. So you remove a alcohol prep pad and rub all along the top of the vial. You can set the alcohol pad off to the side. This injection is going to be a one milliliter injection. So on the syringe, you can see 100 units. You can also see one cc. These all are interchangeable with one milliliter. You will then attach a larger needle, the one inch needle, which is for drawing up the medication. You just simply twist on the needle. You'll remove the cap from the needle. From here, you'll draw the syringe plunger all the way back to the desired dose. Again, for this one, this is a full milliliter dose. Plunger comes all the way back, fills with air. Insert the needle into the vial. You'll then rotate the vial upside down and press the plunger so that all the air goes inside of the vial. This creates pressure inside the vial. From here, you'll then draw the medication all the way back. Sometimes you have to Put a little pressure in and then remove it back to get the final dosage out. Now they're at one full milliliter. You then tilt it back right side up, pull the needle out. From here you can set the medication off to the side. You'll then come back to the same cap, cover up the needle, and then you can twist to remove the needle. Now to attach the injection needle, the 5 8 inch needle, same thing, twist the syringe back onto the needle. Now that we're prepped, I have my pre-filled syringe, my alcohol pad. I'll show you how I intramuscularly inject. First step is to clean off the injection site. For this example, we'll be injecting into the thigh. You have three options of injecting, typically the thigh, the glute, or the shoulder. When you inject in the thigh, you're just coming off center to where your femur runs. After cleaning off the site, you now will remove the cap of the needle. I will double check to make sure there's no air bubbles inside the syringe. In doing that, I can actually push the plunger up until I get a slight a bubble of medication. Now to inject, you have to aspirate, meaning you want to make sure you're not going into a blood vessel. 
So to make sure you get into the muscle, you actually pull the plunger back ever so slightly after injecting. So once you have your side of injecting, push the needle straight in. You'll then draw back ever so slightly. Make sure there's no blood. Because there's no blood, I can now inject the medication all the way into the muscle. From here, pull the needle out, and I've injected. Back to the cap of the needle, put it back on the syringe, and then always make sure that you dispose your syringe inside some kind of plastic container. It can then later be taken to a medical recycle facility.